In this chapter, we will see how to write data to an Excel file. Let's do this immediately. Open the Tmap, then create another output. I'll call it to Excel file, then click OK. Next, click on the speed output to select it, then click the copy schema button at the bottom. Now select to Excel file output and paste the copied schema. And now click on Auto Map to automatically map the input columns to the output to Excel file. Awesome. Now just to refresh your memory, I'm going to add a new column that will hold the current date. I'll use the built-in talent functions for this. Add a new column in the to Excel file output. Call it date. Its type will be a date. Then open the expression editor for this column. Go to Talent Date category, select the function Get Current Date, then click OK. Awesome! You can change the date pattern here if you want to. Once you're done, click Apply and OK. Now, can you guess the name of the component we must use to write an Excel file? Right, it's T File Output Excel. Let's go ahead and add it to the designer. I'll open it just to give you a taste of what the component looks like. We'll come back here to configure our component. Now let's attach the to Excel file output to our component. Right click, row, to file Excel, then click on the T file output Excel component. This will automatically propagate the output schema to the Excel file. Now on the T file output Excel component, we need to specify the name or path to the output file. We want our file to be created in the output folder we used previously, so we can go back to the T file output delimited and copy this. Then paste it here in the tfile output Excel. But we need to change the extension of the file since it's an Excel file, we will use XLSX. So check this box here. Next, I call the sheet My Sheet. Next, select this checkbox to include the header row to the output file. Now in the advanced settings, set the encoding to UTF-8 and then check create directory if does not exist. This checkbox is selected by default. This option creates the directory that will hold the output files if it does not already exist. We have already created the output folder, so we don't need to check this. Now go ahead and run the job. All right. Our Excel file is created. Let's open it to analyze its content. This looks good. Let's go back to the component and play around with the most used options. You can check the box Append Existing File to add the new lines at the end of the existing file without overwriting it. And select Append Existing Sheet checkbox to add the new lines at the end of the existing sheet. Let's run the job to give it a try. Awesome. We can see that this block was written two times. The file was appended. Awesome. You can delete the file now. The next property you can use is absolute Y position. When you check this box, two other properties appear. First cell X is the cell position on the X axis. By default, it is set to zero. Let's change it and see what it does exactly. I'll set it to 5. Now run the job. Now if we open the file, we will see that our data was written starting from the F column on the sheet. We skipped 5 columns before writing our data. That's what the first cell X property does. Easy, right? Go ahead and delete this file again. Awesome. Now we're going to change the first cell Y. I'll set it to 2. I presume that by now you know what this will do to our file. Exactly. We skip two lines before writing the data in the sheet. Awesome. Now you notice that to see what the character column contains, we need to change the cell size. And the same thing goes for the date column, right? We can fix this on the T file output Excel. 
Close the file, then delete it. To fix this letter issue, use the defined columns auto size. Select the auto size checkboxes next to the columns you want their size to be defined automatically, or select all the columns here. Or check define all columns auto size box if you want the size of all your columns to be defined automatically. Now run the job. We don't need to manually resize the columns to see the full character's name and the date. Awesome! You can also change the font used in the file if you feel like doing it. Now I'll show you one last property that you may need to use in your projects. Let's delete the existing file first. The property is protect file. Select the checkbox to protect the file using a password. Let's enter a password. I'll use Mario exclamation mark, then click OK. Then run the job. Now, if you try to open the file, it says that the Excel file is protected. I have to enter the password to open it. So, Mario exclamation mark, then OK. Awesome, file opened. That was all you need to know about writing Excel files. You've done a great job so far. Keep it up.